Hey guys, Ken Boy with the Accounting Accidentally website where you'll find over 350 blog posts and 350 links to my YouTube videos if you slide down here to the middle of the page. So really interesting thing that I noticed this week, Pinterest pays $89.5 million to terminate a San Francisco office lease. And if you scroll down into the story, it was a 490,000 foot office space that they canceled, and they canceled it because they decided that a large portion of their workforce was going to work remotely, they didn't need the space, and it saved them from paying hundreds of millions of dollars in lease payments. So they paid now to avoid paying big payments years into the future, and that's a nice way to take us into solvency ratios. Solvency is all about being able to generate enough cash and enough assets with that cash to pay debts over a long-term period of time. So liquidity is about short-term, solvency is about long-term. Pinterest made the decision that they didn't need that to sink money into office space year after year after year, and they were willing to bite the bullet and pay a termination fee to get out of it now. And that has to do with solvency, because paying the big payments would have hurt their solvency. So with that in mind, talking about solvency, let's talk about some ratios, the debt to assets ratio, which is how many dollars of liabilities do you have compared to your assets? Debt to equity, possibly a more common used metric. Non-current liabilities, that is long-term liabilities divided by your equity. So for every dollar of equity you raise, how much liability do you have? And again, the idea being if the numerators, the liability gets bigger, you're more and more heavily leveraged. Times interest, interest earned talks about, well, what's the expense of having that debt? You've got to pay interest expense. And what is the impact of paying that interest expense on debt? Because every dollar you pay of your net income toward interest expense lowers the amount of net income you have for other purposes. And you can also, and it's a little more unusual, think about plan, plant assets to long-term debt, plant assets being buildings, machinery, office space, et cetera, sort of your plant assets. You can look at that as a ratio. Another thing I wanted to bring up are some of the more common profitability ratios. ROI, return on investment, which is simply how much was your profit on the investment gains less cost divided by cost, ROI. Return on equity. If you've got equity outstanding, you've got shareholders, and the shareholders want to earn a return on the money they invest in the equity. So we look at net income less preferred stock dividends divided by, if you expand this, it's really average common shares outstanding. We subtract preferred stock dividends because this ratio has to do with common stock outstanding. Preferred shareholders stand in line in front of common shareholders, so we deduct preferred stock dividends. And finally, the old reliable EPS or earnings per share, net income less preferred stock dividends divided by average shares outstanding, which is the most common measure of, st of a stock's value, which essentially says, how much am I earning for every share outstanding? How much am I earning for every share outstanding? That takes us to price earnings ratio, the common stock price per share divided by earnings per share. So EPS or earnings per share is connected to price earnings ratio. You can go out and look at the price earnings ratio for the broad markets for a particular industry to see just how expensive, if you will, it is to buy a particular stock. So I wanted to use the Pinterest example to talk about those ratios. Hopping back to accounting accidentally, if you click here on the get it now or on go to the download, you'll get the spreadsheets that explain intermediate accounting. And what you'll receive is a series of spreadsheets that I've used in my YouTube videos. And you'll also get a link to the actual YouTube video. So you can go to the video and use the spreadsheet. And if you'd like them, you can email me here, canonstltest.net. I'll send you a link from my cloud backup where you can download the spreadsheets one at a time or all at once. Thanks for watching and we'll see you 